guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a some kind of eye look for you guys. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Um, I'm thinking something warm, neutral-ish, easy-ish, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I already have my eyes primed, my eyebrows done, <clears throat> my face makeup done. I'm actually doing the first impression on this uh, Australis, I'm going to say the Midas Touch because it reminds me of that song. Um, I'm also doing a first impression on the Infallible Pro Glow and the Master, Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter by Maybelline. So I will link that video down below if it's up and this is up. Um, if not, I'll link it anyway when it is up. But um, yeah, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I'm thinking I might use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I haven't used this in a while. So, why not? Why not? So, I think I'm going to start off with the uh, Salted Caramel. This one here. And I'm going to place that all in the crease. I'm going to tap off any excess. I'm just going to look down straight into a mirror and then put that just on top of my crease as a transition. So you'll notice that I'm holding my brush um, towards the end and that just helps with the blending and using your light hand and stuff. And I'm also going in circular motions and sometimes windshield wipe of motions. So I'm just going to do that back and forth, back and forth until I'm happy with where it's at. Now I'll zoom you guys in. You know why? And hopefully I can stay in focus because my other video, when I went to go edit it, all you could see was this. So that's not too good. So I'm hoping that I don't move too much and that you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna keep building that up. I also set um, sorry, I also primed my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape and I just set it with um, just a, any eyeshadow that's, that was close to my, my skin colour. I wasn't too fast. So I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. And a transition shade is just so that um, there's like a, a nice blend of colour when doing eyeshadow. Now I know it looks like I'm pressing hard, trust me I'm not. I've just noticed um, recently that my eyelids are a lot wrinklier than what they were. Okay, so once you've got something like that, something very light, wishy-washy, um, I'm then going to go in with... What should I go in with? I might go in with the uh, semi-sweet that dark brown there. I might take that on my Zoeva Lux Define Crease, my 224. It's just a small fluffy brush and I'm going to put that directly into my crease. So the crease is when you look down slightly back up, so back up, Steph, you back up. So when you look down into a mirror, see that fold there? right there where basically my brush can go into. Just this part here is your crease. So that's where we're gonna place it to really darken, darken that up. And for this I like to go mainly in windshield wiper motions. Sometimes I'll do little circular motions. Um, but the same deal with the way I hold my brush. I hold it towards the end. Um, and sometimes I'll tilt it upwards to help with the blending as well. Usually if you let your brush do the work for you, it'll blend it out. And always, always start off small with a small amount, light hand, then work your way up. And I also usually like to go back in with the brush that I use for the transition colour just to help blend everything together so it's more seamless um, and there's no harsh lines. I think I'll build that up a bit more. Okay, so once you've got that, um, I'm going to go in with another, uh, just a clean blending brush and just blend out any harsh edges 
and then we can move on to the next step. So I just recently watched Jamie Genevieve's new video, called, but she used just shimmers on her lids, um, and I'm pretty sure in her crease. So I got really inspired and I thought it looked absolutely stunning, so I thought I'd do the same. Surprise, surprise. So I'm actually going to be using the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. I adore this palette. I think it's a great palette. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in first with the uh, this gold shade here, right there. And I'm going to put that on the inner half of my lid. So just here. I'm not going to, uh, am I going to wet my brush? Yeah, I think I might wet my brush actually. So I'm just going to spray a little bit with my Fix Plus and I'll go back in. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna go about just over halfway. So I'm gonna spritz my brush again so I can do the other side. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with um, this brown shade here. And I'm gonna put that in the outer part of the eye where we didn't put anything on. Now, yeah, I'm gonna need to with that actually. Same brush but I'm just going to flip it around to the gold side so I can start to blend that. I'm going to take it a little bit into the crease as well. I know people say you shouldn't but you know what, makeup has no rules. I'm just going to tap it here where it meets the gold. I'm going to use that small Zoeva brush that I used to put the, um, the darker brown in my crease just to help me blend out these edges here because they're just looking a wee bit sharp. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a smaller smaller brush, smaller like flat brush. This is a Real Techniques um, accent brush and I'm going to go into Creme Brulee from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that and put it right here with the gold meets that brown shade just so it like blends out a bit more and then what I'll do is I'll go back in with that brown again on that same Real Techniques brush and just keep patting it through so it creates a nice seamless blend. Next what I might do is I might go in with Black Forest Truffle from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, same little accent brush I think. And I'm going to tap that right here on the outer portion of my eyes. Just to give it that depth. I think I just did it again, not being in focus. Oi, oi, oi. Terrible. Then I'm going to go in with that semi-clean brush just to help me blend out these edges. I didn't wet this one either. Just using circular motions to help blend that all in. So then I'm just going to quickly finish off underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the same... I'm going to go in with the same... Oh shit. So I'm going to go in with the same colours that I used for my transition and I'm going to apply that to my bottom lash line to start to smoke that out. So I'm going to go back into the salted caramel shade, pack that on my brush. This is a uh, Zoeva Petite Eye Blender, the 223. And I'm going to run that underneath my eyes. This eye is a bit stained due to using liquid liners. Uh, sorry, pardon me. Liquid lipsticks on my eyes. So really smoking that. And again, you guys know that I love to take this right down. I like to really smoke it out. Okay, then going in with the darker shade that we used. Underneath. Uh -huh. 
Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with like a little pencil brush. This is a um, Royal and Langnickel Silk Pro Mini Smudger Brush. And, oh shit. And I'm going to go in with this colour. Is it going to focus? Me? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, and it's called Take It Slow by Colourpop. And this is going to go in the inner corner of my eye. And I think I'll drag that in a little bit too. So like in here, in the inner portion, and I think I might bring it up as well. Brighten that up a little bit. And a bit down here. Just to really brighten up the eye. I haven't wet my brush either. Just going in dry okay so i'm gonna pop on some mascara i'm not gonna put eyelashes on today because i was inspired by jamie and she didn't use any lashes for this type of look so i'm gonna do that and be right back okay so that's a finished look really shimmery smoky eye um just with mascara the mascara i used was the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. It's just like a little sample size. It's not bad so far. Um, this is just one coat, but I think maybe I clumped it up too much because I also went on top, so I took the brush up here, if that makes sense. Um, but not too bad. Um, on my lips is the Color Sensational by Maybelline Magnetic More. 125 and I put the lipstick queen nude sinner on top lipstick with the YSL rouge voluptuous shine in number eight so that's what I'm wearing on my lips um, and yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed it um, if you did give it a thumbs up it helps me a lot subscribe if you're not already subscribed comment let me know what you thought um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.